Yeah, so that's, I think, really interesting. You, so you're asking about um, how journals present themselves on Twitter. And, you, you know, your example was somebody like David Muir. Um, so he's a big, you know, he's been in the news, about the news a lot, because he just became, you know, the new anchor in September of uh, ABC's, you know, World News Tonight. And, um, you know, I think this is something that's not unique to journalism. It exists in, in all fields with people who have a social media presence. Um, that it's sort of a case-by-case -case basis about whether the person even is participating in their own social media activities or whether they have paid staff, you know, working for them who are really the ones who are responsible for that. Um, you know, and in terms of the sort of nature of what the, of the, the presentation of the person, um, you know, on Twitter or social media, um, you know, I think people use different strategies. Some try to make it, you know, seem more personalized and really personal. Um, but I think there's a fine line. Journalists have, you know, sometimes gotten into trouble um, for being too opinionated or too personal in their Twitter, um, uh, you know, in their tweets um, or social media posts. Um, and a lot of news organizations have actually established policies for their employees, um, you know, explicitly, um, you know, stating the kinds of things that they should and should not do through social media, the kinds of things they should or should not say. Um, so I think this is evolving, you know, it, it, with every new technology, um, uh, you know, different kinds of business people have to grapple with how to make use of it. And, um, you know, for journalists, it's no different, and, uh, and for their news organizations. So I think this is something that, you know, continues to evolve, um, at, you know, as the technology becomes older and, and people get used to it. I definitely, um, I'd say without a doubt, there are, is a segment of the audience, you know, of users who are relying on Twitter and other, you know, other social media platforms for their news. Um, but I think for a lot of people, it's um, uh, a supplement or sort of complement to other news sources as well. Um, it might be how they first hear about something, you know, a, um, a news event, but um, then it's likely that they'll go to another source uh, to find out more about it, you know, I mean, there's only so much you can learn in the characters that are, you know, provided through a tweet. So um, I think a lot of people then will go to another source to read to find out more um, or to gain a particular perspective from an outlet that they respect or know that they sort of agree with. Um, so on one hand, yes, it can scoop the, you know, other, organ uh, other news organizations. Um, but on the other hand, I think it can actually drive, you know, it's actually driving some people to these other sites, um, you know, to learn, to learn more. But that sort of goes back to, um, you know, my thought about why other, you know, news organizations are moving towards sort of, you know, opinion and commentary and analysis and personality of the individual journalist. Um, again, because they're not going to be the ones, you know, much going to be much less often that they're the ones breaking the story, and so they have to figure out how they can still provide something useful, um, you know, to the user, right? So I think again, you know, I would sort of restate some of the things I've already said. You know, is is Twitter or so you know the new news? Um, um, again, you know, I think that it's it's definitely big competition for other news organizations can definitely break news before other news organizations and scoop them for stories. Um, but I think that's why news organizations have developed strategies to deal with that. You know, again, differentiating their product, you know, in a variety of ways. Um, and finding ways to make use of Twitter and, and social media. Um, and I think that um, while a lot of, you know, a lot of people do find out their news through Twitter, um, that a lot of people still um, seek out uh, news from 
sources that they feel are reliable and have a long-standing reputation and have um, specific journalists they connect with and who are familiar. So I think that all of that still has, has value, um, you know, at least for uh, a lot of news consumers.